In this video, we describe Huygens' principle for the propagation of a light wave. Huygens' principle is the foundation for understanding the phenomena of one-slit diffraction and two-slit interference. So in the first picture at the top left, we're viewing light as a series of wave fronts that are parallel to each other, but perpendicular to the direction of propagation. And we can view these lines as being the wave crests for the light wave and the spaces directly between them as the wave troughs. So it's kind of like a wave train of ocean waves coming into the shore. Huygens' principle says that the propagation of a wave can always be described as a superposition of point sources, each producing a spherical wave front or in two dimensions, a circular wave front. So our second picture shows what one of those little point sources looks like. And this is like the pattern you would see if a single drop of water hits a smooth surface of a lake. You see these concentric circles radiating out from that central point source. So these parallel wave fronts in our light wave can be viewed as thousands of point sources that are all starting their own spherical wave fronts. And the interference of those wave fronts produces the linear wave front moving to the right a short time later. So we see this in the third picture. We have our initial wave front on the left, and we view that as thousands and thousands of point sources that are all just lined up on that wave front. Each one of those produces a circular wave front moving to the right. So I showed them as semicircles. And a short time later, all of those expanding circles are lined up to create a nearly perfectly vertical line created by the superposition of all of those circular wave fronts. That line is a little faint, so I'll just make it a little more bold real quick. So it looks a little bit wiggly in this picture, but you can imagine if I took thousands of these point sources, the superposition of all of those spherical wave fronts would create a perfect line here. So in the picture on the bottom right, we see what happens if the light wave passes through a small slit. And now that we have Huygens' principle, we can understand this phenomenon. So each of these wave fronts is made of thousands of point sources. They slam into this screen that only allows light to move through a tiny slit. That means what's going on in the slit is basically a point source. And we know that point sources create these circular waves. So on the other side of the slit, we're going to see a point source wave pattern. So these semicircles that are expanding outward from that single point source. This is called the diffraction of the wave. The same phenomenon explains why water waves can bend around corners when they encounter an obstruction and why sound can bend around corners. In the next video, we'll use Huygens' principle to understand what happens when light arrives at a pair of small slits in a screen. If you find the physics content on Zach's Lab helpful, click on the Zach's Lab logo on the right to browse playlists and subscribe to the channel. I produce over 100 new videos per month, and subscribing is the easiest way to find new content. Thanks for watching.